It's Sylvia Dana. I'm with eXp Realty and I live in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm going to show you hopefully a short and sweet how to build a seller squeeze page. This is a squeeze page link that you can post um, in your social media channels, email, email signature, um, blog posts, um, linking. You can use it as a link on your website if you have a website separate from your KB Core website. This is a seller squeeze page that you're going to be able to post and generate seller leads. People are going to ask for their home values and you're going to generate a lead at least by an address. And if you're lucky, you'll also get an email. And if you're super lucky, you'll also get a phone number. But if you're not as lucky to get some of those things, you can use um, services like Cole Realty Resource. You can use services like Spokio um, to be able to find out more about that lead, their phone number, even their name, their email address. We're going to talk more about seller leads in one minute. Okay. Ready? Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm helping out one of uh, another EXP agent with her seller squeeze pages and lead generating links. So she um, lives in the Wayne County area, mostly wants to serve Plymouth, um, but she does live, you know, work in Wayne County. Um, so I'm going to give her two different types of seller squeeze pages that she can use in a variety of ways. Um, hopefully she'll watch this video and then she can learn how to do it and she can, you know, put a source here like Facebook or Nextdoor or Twitter or LinkedIn so that she knows exactly where this lead's coming from. Um, so anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create her seller squeeze page specifically for Plymouth, Michigan. Now, anyone's going to be able to put their address in um, the field to put it to get their value um, but the page is going to refer to Plymouth Michigan and I'm using this as a hashtag Plymouth seller that way when this lead comes in they will be automatically put on a seller follow-up campaign because of the behavior of the lead and I've activated Maria's seller um, default campaign however this hashtag Plymouth seller will will tell me how this lead came in what prompted it so that'll be helpful okay so we're gonna go to IDX squeeze page choose our domain and start building it's very exciting okay we already did a multi property demo we already did a single property demo and right now we're gonna do this seller squeeze demo So I'm going to put general as the source. We already went over this. I'm going to put Plymouth seller as the hashtag. And the area is Plymouth. And then I'm going to generate the link. Um, and if you've watched my two previous videos, my several more than two videos, all about squeeze pages and such. I have long explanations about these two different links, so I'm not gonna go over it right now. You can find my other videos relating to creating squeeze pages. Um, so I'm gonna select this short link. It's really the same link as this long link, and I'm going to just test it. Put it in the URL. Hit enter and ta-da. So it's telling me that the average pr price in Plymouth is $317,000. And then I am going to be able to enter in my address and get an estimate. Once I click on this, let's go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter where you are. Get estimate. And it's showing me the home value of the house that I live in. Um, and it says, please remember, it's an automated starting point, not your home's true value. And let's do an in-person valuation, blah, 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 blah. Now, 
somebody can call you, they can chat with you, they can email you. Okay, so um, that's how you're going to get the lead. Okay, now I want to tell you this didn't work exactly how it normally would because I'm already logged in in Maria's system. So it already has my email address. So if if I had never logged in to Maria's system before, um, it would actually um, not just show me the value in this way. It would require me to either um, enter in my email address to download it. It would require um, me to text um, to provide my phone number to get it to my phone. Um, so it would capture my information that way. But because I'm already in her system, um, it knows me already. So it already has my information. Now what's going to happen in her dashboard is it's going to um, just alert her that Sylvia, who's already in her system, who she already has contact information for, asked for the home value as well. Okay? So I just want to make sure that's clear. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my little spreadsheet here. Put this in. So remember, if this is a brand new person who's never visited her website before and they click on this and they enter in their value, it will capture, it will capture um, the email or the phone number if the person wants to see their value. Now, if they choose not to do those things, um, if they choose not to get the get the value to, to provide the information, then you still have their name. I'm sorry, you still have their address. And if you still have that person's address, then you can use your tax records or your title company's records or Realtors Property Resource, RPR, and you can find the names of the person and that kind of thing. I'm going to show you what you can do, actually. Because I said I was going to talk about seller leads a little more. So I just want to show you, if I go to here to Smart CRM, Now, just because you only have an address does not mean it's not a good lead. It's still a good lead. So I'm going to click on myself. So she already has my email address, so it didn't capture that information, but it did let her know that I did a seller evaluation for my own home. Okay. Um, now, Let's say it didn't have, if, let's say it only had this information, okay? So I know, I, um, so I could go here to more actions and I could actually click on find on Spokio. And what Spokio will do is it'll find my address and my, all the information about this person, <laughs> um, either from the address or the email, whatever information you have, okay? Um, and it will pull up the information. Now, I think to use Spokio, there's a small monthly <coughs> price to it. There's also Cole Realty Resource, which is not too expensive either that you can do a lot, lot more with than Spokio. So there are ways. But even if you have an address, you can find out the person's name. You can write them a handwritten note card. You can print them out a one-page CMA to say, hey, this is your property value. Just updating you. Thanks for registering on my website. Let me know how I can help. Okay? Good lead. Good lead. Okay, let's do one more. We are going to do... Um, now, I want to do a Wayne County um, one, so it's just a little more general, her county, so, you know, it's not only for Plymouth. Um, so now what I'm going to do is go back to my lead engine. I'm going to go to IDX Squeeze page, start building. We're working, we're working. Okay, seller squeeze. Do a general source here. We're gonna do um, Wayne County seller was the hashtag I selected. 
um, the area we're going to do Wayne County. All right, I'm going to generate the link. Test it, see how it looks. And there we go. Lovely. Okay, that's really it. That's how you do it. And then what you can do again with these different links. So this link, for example, I'm gonna suggest she attach this to her email signature. She can write, um, get your instant home value, select that text, make it a clickable link. Um, she can put it in her Facebook um, business page. She can link it from a different website. If she has like a WordPress blog separate from KB Core, she could link it there. Um, she could put it in LinkedIn. She could put it on Nextdoor. I, there's so many places you could put this. Okay. Enjoy your, your rest of your week. I hope this was helpful. And thank you so much for watching.